Welcome back to Indian Times Daily. The top 10 headlines from America are Republican lawmakers have revealed their final tax bill for the biggest overall of the country's tax system in 30 years. The House will vote on the bill first on December 19th, ahead of Senate vote after which it will be sent to President Donald Trump. President Donald Trump's administration is set to propose revoking a rule that makes spouses of thousands of H-1B visa holders eligible to work while in the US. The department said that it was acting in light of the Buy American, Hire American executive order signed by Trump in April. President Donald Trump's private lawyers are slated to meet special counsel Robert Mueller, who is currently probing alleged Russian meddling in the 2016 presidential election. Mueller has already brought charges against four people, including two who have pleaded guilty and are now cooperating with the investigation. President Donald Trump has affirmed his support to the Federal Bureau of Investigation less than an hour after criticizing the agency. During a speech at the FBI National Academy's graduation in Virginia, Trump said that the President of the United States has your back 100%. One of President Donald Trump's judicial nominees has struggled to answer basic legal questions posed to him at a hearing by a Republican senator. Matthew Spencer Peterson was asked about his lack of experience on trial work and the amount of depositions that he had worked on. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres has called for re-establishing communications channel with Pyongyang, warning that North Korea's nuclear program is the most dangerous threat to world security. Guterres said that any military action would have devastating and unpredictable consequences. American Airlines has apologized for trying to charge a passenger an extra fee at the gate for carrying frozen breast milk, forcing her to leave it behind. A 30-year-old mother, Sarah Salo, said that she was humiliated, adding that it really felt demeaning. Clashes have broken out between Palestinians and Israeli forces in several West Bank locations during protests or over President Donald Trump's Jerusalem move. Six Palestinians were killed and more than 2,000 injured in the wave of tension that swept the Palestinian territories after the US announcement. A former Uber employee has alleged that a special division within the global ride-hailing app was responsible for the theft of trade secrets. Jacobs alleged that Uber's secretive strategic services group had employed third-party vendors to obtain unauthorized data or information. NASA scientists are set to embark on a 756-kilometer expedition in one of the most barren landscapes on Earth to survey an unexplored stretch of Antarctic ice. A team led by two scientists will begin their traverse in an arc around the South Pole on December 21st. I'll be back. Stay logged on to IndianTimesDaily.com as the news from Punjab follows.